Janet Zabo, and I'm here today at Camas Creek Yarn to demonstrate how to work a jogless jog. So let's get started. I'm going to demonstrate how to work a jogless jog in color knitting. When you're working in the round, where the beginning of the round starts and the end of the previous round finishes, you'll often see a jog or a, a spot in the color work that doesn't quite match. So this technique will help you to avoid that. You can see something of a jog jog if you look down here where the garter stitch edge comes around. It's up by one, about one stitch and that just has to do with the fact that you're knitting in a tube. So to work a jogless jog, what I'm going to do first of all is take my round marker off and set it aside and I'm going to take the point of my right hand needle and then insert it in the head of the stitch below. So we'll see that in close up. Again, I'm going to take the tip of my right hand needle and insert it in the head of the stitch below, pull it up onto the left hand needle, and then I'm going to carefully knit those two stitches together. And you'll see that what happens is that the stitch from the row below gets pulled up a bit and that helps to avoid the jog in the color work. It's the little things that can make or break your knitting and learning a jogless jog will make your color work stand out and shine. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other technique videos at camascreekyarn.com. This technique and many others are detailed in my book, The I Hate to Finish Sweaters Guide to Finishing Sweaters. It's available at Camas Creek Yarn and can be ordered from CamasCreekYarn.com. I'm Janet Zabo of Big Sky Knitting Designs. Thanks for watching.